I'm here to tell you everything that's new about Midjourney version 5, from hands to guns, from tiles to image weights. We're going to run through it all, and I'm going to make sure that you know how to get the most out of Midjourney version 5. These were the type of hands that we came accustomed to in Midjourney, but now, Look at these beautiful, fine handshakes. Absolutely delightful. Just take a look at this perfect rendering of a human hand coming out of Midjourney version 5. And it's not just in simple situations that they're working well, but across the board, Midjourney is rendering hands in perfect anatomical form. Another highly detailed aspect that Midjourney used to struggle with was guns. And now we can get beautiful weaponry. Even these nuns are enjoying themselves with an AK-47. And beyond hands and guns, you can see that photorealism has taken another step forward. I would say that this artwork is indistinguishable from a real photograph. Detailed and complex objects are now possible in Midjourney version 4. And that's not the only exciting development. We now have crazy aspect ratios. You can create huge panoramas like these. And not just horizontally, you can also make vertical panoramas of fantastic towers or even gigantic sandwiches. And what we can do with these wide panoramas is put them into 3D viewing software. And this is a 360 degree VR generated image from Midjourney. And you can see that it works perfectly. So you can try aspect ratios for much more creative experiments. Beyond aspect ratios, we also have increased stylistic range. So you can create everything from stylized photography to flat, illustrative, editorial style images. The range that has increased in Midjourney is huge. One of the complaints that people may have had of Midjourney was that every Midjourney image looked of a very similar style. And now that is not the case. You can really gain a huge repertoire of different, beautiful stylistic choices. Tiles are back, baby. We may have missed tiles for a long time in version 4, but now version 5 allows us to create perfectly seamless repeating tiles. Look at these game backgrounds that I've been working on, which work fantastically. And even these SimCity style isometric designs. How about a fruit salad? Don't mind if I do. To use the tile feature, all you have to do is, at the end of your prompt, put in dash dash tile. Higher resolution images are now rendered on your first run inside of Midjourney, and we're getting double the base resolution from our first generations. So for an image of 3x2, you get it outputted at 1344 pixels wide. For a 1x1 image, you get it outputted at 1024. You always get roughly the same amount of pixels, so as you increase the width, it will decrease the height. For example, if you go for a aspect ratio of 3 by 1, you'll get 1900 by 640. And as you bring this closer to a square, the largest range you can get is 1024. And it's important to note that the default resolution of V5 is the same as upscaled V4. One thing to recognize at the moment is that there is no upscale option in Midjourney's version 5. So as soon as you get an image out, if you press on the upscale letters, it will only output the image singularly. You press on that and now you have the same image outputted singularly. Midjourney has also started to bring back some of the parameters that were available in earlier versions of Midjourney. One is image weights, which allows you to increase the importance of an image when it's used in conjunction with a text prompt. So you can balance out how important the image is and how important the text is. And to use that, all you have to do is put in dash dash, IW, space, and then a number with higher values, meaning that the image prompt will have more weight, more effect, and more impact on your final part. Lower values, conversely, mean that the image will have less weight. I've been taking some of my favorite prompts and putting them back through Midjourney with version 5. And you can take a look at how they've improved. This was the original cyberpunk lady. And you can see it's really taken a step up in cinematic, anatomical, detail and realism. The textures in her skin and the slight folds below the eye and above the mouth are just so realistic. Where you can see with the original it has this, this mid-journey look, this slightly airbrushed digital painting look with some strange artifacts that destroy the overall coherence. 
for example, these stray hairs that don't actually connect to anywhere. The community response to version 5 has been overwhelmingly positive, with people blown away by the quality of hands, details, photorealism, and stylistic range. There are a few things to bear in mind when using version 5, and here are my best tips for getting the most out of the latest algorithm. Firstly, version 5 doesn't work so well with short prompts, so you need to be more specific and you should try to write longer, more explicit prompts that are detailed and accurate. So Midjourney is taking a step towards a more stable diffusion like prompting style where you have to be very accurate, defined and precise about what you're looking for. One of the benefits of Midjourney was that you could literally put any word in and you're likely to get a highly aesthetic image. However, one of the problems with this was that it led to Midjourney developing a very coherent style a very minimal range of stylistic choices that are available for Midjourney, and everyone's artwork ends up looking the same. But now, Midjourney is giving users greater control and allowing us to really refine, define, and enhance our artwork. And here is a small reminder of how far we've come in just six months. Six months ago, we were mesmerized by images of this quality, and now we're able to get photorealistic cinematic images in a matter of seconds. What will the future be like in five years time? What do you like most about version five? Let me know in the comments and check out my mid journey courses in the description below. Thanks for watching and make sure to watch this video next for more on AI. Today shall be known as mid journey version five day. And for that, I have put on a jolly good shirt.